All right, you've seen it. Awesome show. I love it. I'm a big fan. Cobra Kai, phenomenal, right? And of course, you got the Mortal Kombat movies. And there's a lot of martial arts stuff going on right now. So, I thought I'd have my buddy Grandmaster William McDonald come on, and we're going to talk about some martial arts today on the show and some real, real, like realistic stuff. We're actually going to do some scenarios for you because, well, let's face it, there's a lot of wild stuff going on right now. You've seen the videos, I've seen the videos. People just getting randomly attacked out of nowhere. Things going on. Maybe you're, you have a mask on, you're not wearing a mask. Somebody gets up in your face about it. How do you handle those situations gracefully, escape them, evade them? Uh, and take care of yourself and the people around you. And that is the goal behind martial arts, really, is to take care of yourself and the people around you and, well, learn how to treat other with, other people with, with respect, even if they aren't going to show you respect, right? So come back, we're going to give you some practical application uh, for martial arts, what, what it is, what it's not, versus, you know, with the camera, because you see the camera stuff that goes on, you got the, uh, all the martial arts movie stuff that goes on, and then you got the real stuff, which is you're walking on the street, something happens. How do you react? How do you respond? So come back on. We're going to do some practical application. You're going to love this show. It's going to be very, very action packed with some good comedy as well. Um, but come back on. We're going to show you the reality of some martial arts in real life versus kind of what you see in the movies on TV. This way you stay safe and out of harm's way no matter what happens around you or to you. All right. Come back. Enjoy the show. Quinn Fuquay is the health engineer, dishing up healthcare reform through personal responsibility in the areas of nutrition, discipline, and fitness. Quinn cuts through misunderstood health theory with over 35 years of practical results. Start taking control of your health today with the health engineer. Here's your host, Clint Fuquay. All right, we're back to the Health Engineer Show. I'm Clint Fuqua, the Health Engineer, right here on OBBM TV. And today, everybody is actually Kung Fu fighting today on the show. Quite literally, in fact, in segment two, there, there will be some, some Kung Fu fighting going on, possibly with me, definitely with him, <laughs> definitely somebody else. Um, so, um, thank you for coming on. Oh, thank you for having me. I know we've been, we've been kind of toying with, uh, yeah. when am I gonna get myself over here and and do a segment for you. Yes, yeah, because so. we, we've known each other for a long time, for about there. This is Grand, Grandmaster yeah. William McDonald. Um, and you've been in, we're gonna do some background right quick. This is gonna be like rapid okay. fire, all right? I'm just, I'm gonna throw them out oh, at you and you just block It's me. my turn now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and so, uh, let's start off with um, with some background, because we've known each other now for... Almost 20 years. Can I you know. believe that? Wow. God, we're old. Don't tell everybody that. <laughs> Re rewind this, rewind this. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so a, a long time. We, we actually got introduced uh, a long time ago back when you, you had a podcast. Yep. And I came on to sponsor the podcast with the supplement company I was running back in the day. Yep, that's correct. Through, through Mr. Jeff McKissick. Thank you, Jeff, for that. And Jeff was on the show previously. Yeah, we'll talk great. About him a little Excellent. bit. Uh, and because this, this like dovetails with the show that I did with him because it was all about um, your in your environment, being aware of your surroundings, and everything else, that show. Right, right. And, but we didn't get into the stuff that we're going to get into. That's why I wanted to have you on. So it's a nice well, let's, little... Let's dive into this. It's a one-two. So Make it happen. Let, let's, let's get into your background in martial okay. arts. Because you've been in martial arts for a long time on all different sides. So I want to talk about the right. different sides of this thing. Uh, well, actually, <clears throat> I've been in martial arts this year. is 49 years in the martial arts. Started uh, my martial art education uh, in Kempo Karate at the age of seven. And I'll tell you how I got into it. And actually, this is a... It's very dear to me. Um, I owe it to my dad uh, because he, he got me into the martial arts. But um, when I was six years old, I was waiting for my mom to pick me up after school. And uh, I was petting a stray dog walking across the street. And there I got not only bullied, but I got beat up mm -hmm. by three sixth graders. They were showing off with some girls that were on the jungle gym in the background. And they came over, over and just, just clean me dry for petting a dog, okay? And uh, I had a lot of anger. I it was a six-year-old kid, <clears throat> didn't understand this. Like, three sixth graders just beat the crap out of me, right? And, uh, and, and, and so I had a lot of anger and I, I low self-esteem because of that. Mm -hmm. So my dad, months down the road, they got into a, uh, a drive-through a drive theater 
and I was sitting on the on my dad's car and laying down watching this one man that I went, oh my God, that's what I want to do. That's who I want to be. And it was all about revenge at first. I, we went to go see Enter the Dragon with Bruce Ooh. Lee. Who doesn't like, if you're, not a, if you're a martial artist and never seen that show, don't talk to me. <laughs> Bruce Lee is king when it comes to martial arts and brought it over from Asia over here. And here we are now. Oh, yeah. So my dad signed me up uh, when I turned seven on my birthday. That was his gift to me. I started in Kempo Karate. I had a multiple black belts in different martial arts. Uh, Kempo was my first art that I got a black belt in. Started at seven, got my first degree black belt at the age of 14 and way back when, I don't know if this is true or not, but of course, you know, masters they, or teachers, they tell you all these things and they know more than I do. Uh, at the time in Kempo, I was the youngest Kempo black belt in the state of Texas at that time. Okay, this is what I was yeah. told by my sensei. And then I, I got a chance to, uh, uh, my instructor, he left, and, uh, and I, I, I got involved in a lot of other martial arts. Uh, Taekwondo, I got a sixth degree black belt underneath the founder who coined the name Taekwondo, General Choi Hung Hee. So I, I was very, been very blessed to be around so many icons in the martial arts that I know. Six degree black belt in Kenpo Karate, well over 30 years in Muay Thai, and I've toyed with a lot of other things, Aiki Jitsu and Judo and name it, you know, um, along with weapons, uh, Art of a Kobodo. I've got uh, uh, multi-level uh, certifications in Kobodo, which is the art of weapons. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's how I got into it. And then um, I, where I'm at now is I used to teach martial arts separately. Uh, if you want to come in and you want to train Taekwondo, then uh, we're going to train on this day and this is what it's going to cost you. But I don't do that anymore. For well over, well over 25 years now, I, I actually coined a system called Tong Ilo. Yep. And Tong Ilo started as a youth development program called Hot Shots. It wasn't really even a martial art, it was an idea to, because this is reverting back to when I was bullied. Hi. I wanted to help kids out develop their self-esteem and never have a child be bullied. So it was a focused on a youth development program. And then parents said, oh, I want to do it. So we then created something for the adults. But it was never true martial art just yet until as we started getting hundreds and hundreds of people built up and we structured our program curriculum-wise like the martial arts, so we had belt levels. Mm -hmm. So we knew what to, what to teach them. And it was myself and another gentleman, they, he's no longer around, uh, uh, Gilbert Narvaez. He was an Aikijitsu, Muay Thai, and Bagua Jan stylist. And how we blended, uh, we actually blended the different disciplines. Uh, as I was saying, if you were to come to me, train whatever art, I would teach you that specific art. But in reality, um, when I would do bodyguard work, because I've been in bodyguard uh, work for many, many years, yeah, almost yeah. 20 I was years. I bring that up, because that's like, that's real, you, yes. you get the gauge stuff, you get the, uh, the movie stuff, and then you get the, here's, here's what really happens. And I, and I started gauging that not only on actual street confrontations, which I am not fond of saying that I've been in, but I am fond of saying I've survived, yeah. okay? Uh, as well as I, you know, I tested that my, my abilities uh, at nightclubs because I would, I would uh, uh, do some work with people that I knew that owned nightclubs and I would be their, their chief guy to go to. And it's not about hurting people all the time. It's about controlling people, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but we took away the stuff that doesn't work anymore in traditional arts. Traditional's great if that's what you want to focus on. But truthfully, on a street situation, I never would stop and say, ooh, stop, I, I'm gonna do a, a, a Taekwondo sidekick here or a Jiu Jitsu wrist lock there. The mind uh, adapts to the environment and the situation, so it just became a fluid thing uh, for survival. So me and Mr. Narvaez, we created, we took away the stuff that doesn't work. Five different disciplines. Aikido for redirection of energy, mm -hmm. uh, learning how to fall and throw properly. Taekwondo, all the dynamic kicks of Taekwondo you could ever imagine. Beautiful kicking heart. Kenpo Karate for close quarter combat, predominantly using hands. Yep. Jiu Jitsu for both joint manipulation and ground tactics. And we also have uh, some Muay Thai in there, the Thai boxing for um, uh, developing endurance stamina uh, and that kind of that keen 
eye of the tiger type mentality. Yeah, because you got to have a, those guys are nuts. Oh, <laughs> in some in some ways to speak. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's where I am. This is I've been very blessed to know some some fantastic people that I looked up to uh, when I was a kid, like Chuck Norris and Hi. and Don the Dragon Wilson, just a whole bunch of people. And I never knew that I would be one of those people that would be blessed to always know people at the right time, right place. Um, you just never know who you're brushing up against. And I got a chance to uh, to, to actually be, be working on the Walker, original yep. Walker, Texas Ranger. Now there's another yep. Walker yep. out Which there. Which if so you haven't seen the original, watch the original. Yes, Chuck <laughs> Norris, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I've been very blessed. I, 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 was, I did a, a couple of stunt stuff with Chuck Norris and that kind of got me interested in the stunt ability, acting, directing and producing on the side. Yep. And so I've been in the movie industry since 96, started with Walker, Texas Ranger. But um, in all, I, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've probably never seen everything, but I've seen so many different styles. Uh, I really feel that there's no one style that makes another, the, the person better, mm -hmm. but it's that person that brings that martial art to make that look good, okay? Uh, take any athlete that's out there, okay? You could be a great football player or you could be an average football player, okay? It doesn't matter what team you're on. There's only so many patterns and so many moves you can make up. Yep. And I'm not trying to recreate yep. the wheel, but what we did is we took out the stuff that I know that doesn't work, okay? Yep. Like yeah. big old yeah. giant horse stances or stuff like that, or mm -hmm. the old school, to, uh, old school martial art, uh, Shotokan used to be, Japanese Shotokan used to be phenomenal. Oh, to start a fight, they would go down in a deep, long walking or front stance, and that's how we're going to start a fight. Did you do that while I'm fighting. I want to fight that person on the street. Yeah, yeah, go go for it. Now they're <laughs> great at their at their lunge punches and their front kicks, but other than that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to throw my money on yep. this person that's a little bit more well versed. Yeah. So we're going to come right back, enjoy this message from our sponsors, and we're going to do well some like realistic. Cobra Kai stuff because I love Cobra Kai. I love I love that show. Cobra love Kai rocks. Yeah, yeah. So cry kid. We're gonna do the real stuff. We're gonna give you some practical application. So come right back. What does it mean to devote your life to the truth? Does it mean investigating communist subversion here in America? Does it mean exposing the deadly fentanyl crisis in the Midwest? or spending late nights and covering deep government corruption? Does it mean persevering over 20 years, even after four masked men set one of our printing presses on fire last year? Because at a time when America's traditional values are under attack, It's the responsibility of righteous journalists to uphold truth and tradition. Introducing IV Hookup. IV treatments have been the standard of care used for years to deliver intravenous hydration treatment to patients. Our medical director has created a safe, industry standard protocol to efficiently support your wellness through IV vitamin hydration including options for athletic performance, mood enhancement, general wellness, and hangover recovery. IV Hookup now offers full spectrum COVID-19 testing at reasonable prices. This means we can get you and your staff tested in a quick time frame. Are you hosting a group event? We can provide a customized package for IV treatment and COVID testing as well. IV Hookup is everything you need to both stay healthy and approve it. Go to ivyhookup.com to order yours, and we'll bring it right to you. That's ivyhookup.com. All right, we're back, and as you can see, we have cleared the floor space. We're going we're to do a practical application for you, and we have an extra body here that's going to get beat up instead of me. <laughs> Unless they gang up on me, I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen in this segment. So, uh, things happen out in the real world, right? Uh, and you've seen it, tons of video footage of wild stuff going on, right? Uh, random attacks, whatever. Somebody didn't have a mask on, somebody goes after them in a, in a uh, shopping, shopping place, whatever. Things happen. So 
Uh, we're going to do some just basic scenario stuff of things that might happen, how to address it, how to escape and evade very quickly, because the goal is to get you out alive, you know, save yourself, save your face too, um, if you can. But the main thing is to address the issue, get out and, and live a good life and stay protected. And that's why I've, I've been doing these segments for quite some time. So um, if you two want to uh, sure. start off, we'll, 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 do, we'll do some basic scenarios. We might even try a little knife. Yeah, you know, nice sure, we'll do some knife tactics yeah. as well. So uh, let me explain. First of all, this is Nathan Anderson. Uh, he's one of my black belts, first degree black belt in Tong Hello. Uh, Nathan, how long have you been with me? Uh, about 17 years. 17 years. About how long have you been a first degree black belt level? About three years. Three years. Okay, very good. So a uh, long time with me and a great student. One day, hopefully, a great master. Uh, so Clint, really, and for everybody who's listening, the, the, the problem is, first of all, let me explain about martial arts. So many people think that the, the techniques are, are, um, are guaranteed. True martial arts, true martial arts will tell you that, that self-defense is based on theory. Yep. Okay? It, 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 it is not finite, this is going to be a guarantee working, working for you 100% of the time. You've got different person's bodies, sizes, uh, the length of uh, you know, how tall you are, how short you are. Um, and also the psychology of the of the attacker versus the psychology of you are do you have the mind frame to be confronted and or and do you shut down if you have a confrontation and a lot of people you've it, it deals with training it deals with not only um, uh, uh, the, the mental but also the physical reaction so that you can perform properly and the idea is to get out without being hurt or Let's face it, minimally hurt, right? Yeah, well, we, we talked about this with Jeff. He had uh, somebody that uh, he knew for a long time, been in martial arts for years and years and years, decades, right? Yes. Trained a long time. A guy came up and like, grabbed her and she froze. That's correct. And she's like, I can't believe I fr I've been training for, for decades and I froze when a guy grabbed me. Right. Because he mistook me for somebody else and he took his, he took his hands off. And I was like, well, luckily you did freeze because he might not have survived. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and so, so you have to have the right mentality and that's a class on its own, without a doubt. Yeah. Um, but practice, practice, practice. So uh, the confrontation, you have to be prepared for. You have to be prepared for when somebody's in your face, yelling at you, being hostile. Uh, shooting out all those colorful metaphors that you don't really want to hear your kids hear, but they're out there, the F-bomb. Uh, sometimes the, the bad letter, the N-word, you know, whatever you want to call it, but if their person's right in front of your face, if you can't handle it, you're going to shut down. The idea, though, is to react quickly. The idea is you don't want them in this, in this, in this, in this position. You want distance. we got to have distance. So Nathan here is, uh, if he's approaching me, i got to first of all watch, first of all, two things. Number one, is it him? Or does he have a buddy with him? So I don't know. And the, when he's talking to me, maybe he's being a little aggressive. I'm, I, the first thing I want to do is put my hands up, not in an aggressive motion, because he's going to say, uh oh, he's ready to go for it. He's ready to rock and sock. So he's approaching, hey, 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 wait a minute. Uh, can I help you out, sir? What can I do for you? And then I'm going to watch his eyes for a moment because I want to see if he's gauging on me or if he's gauging on his buddy that's behind me, maybe. So if he's gauging on his buddy behind me, I might have to. Uh, I might have to step to a different angle so I can see what's going on. When I, I realize that it maybe it's just him, let's just take that. I'm going to shift down to this area right here. This is what I want you guys to learn. If you learn anything else, you're going to learn this. This area, uh, you mentioned Kura, uh, 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 Cobra Kai, right? Yeah. Mr. Miyagi, forget that. Listen, Mr. Miyagi, always oh, look eye. Wrong. Do not do that. <laughs> okay. Tell a boxer to look to, to stare at your eyes while they're fighting. They do not. They gauge you right here. They look at the shoulder yep. and they look at the chest because you're going to be able to telegraph the motion, even some of the simplest motion, whether it be a kick or some kind of upper extremity. Okay. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. But I want to get my hands up in a non-threatening motion. When I see that he's actually engaging, I might have to have this. I might have to have put up my dukes. Okay. But you've got your extremities, you've got your, your uh, go ahead as he's coming in as aggressively. I got, I got my, my, my feet to, to do check kicks, to throw him off balance or whatever. I also want to figure out, hey, is there anything blocking me? Is there something behind me? Am I in a parking lot? Maybe a car's on the side or maybe I'm between cars. You got to, there's so many factors here that, that, that's it portrayed. What you don't want to do is stay in a line of fire, okay? 
uh, and and uh, the best, of course, the best survival rate is to leave. If you can get out and you can run away, you live to tell a tale another day. But if, if I find my in the line of fire, then he's going to be able to strike me, kick me, or whatever, or he grab me. Okay? I want to learn to cut my angles. So with, when he's coming right here, I want to learn to cut my angles and then figure out where my targets are or if I just want to push off and move and get the heck out of Dodge so I can hopefully survive. Especially if he's got a buddy. I might shove him right yeah. into his buddy. You know? But if, if nothing else, I strike, I strike what the, the soft tissues first. The soft tissue. So if, again, if, if he's coming in, boom, I'm going to go for that groin. I love groin shots. Do you like groin shots? No. No, he does you, not. You know who does? Master Ken. Master Ken Master loves Ken. groin shots. Watch the Master Ken. Listen, groin hilarious. shots, listen to me. There's so many martial arts. Clint, I'm going to tell you, this is the truth. He knows it. I know it. You probably know it as well. Go to a martial arts school. Uh, and they, 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 they don't teach techniques that strike below the belt. They do not. Even sparring or whatever. Okay, whatever the case is. If you don't train realistically in class, including your attitude, you're not, you're, all your technique, everything, your black belt that you earned is, is out the door, okay? It's a false sense of security. You've got to train, for, now I'm not, Nathan here, he's, he knows that uh, I'm, I'm going to control my techniques. I'm going to be able to strike him and I'm not gonna throw him, uh, throw my punch straight through his body, okay? I can stop with good control and practice one inch away from his face, one inch away from uh, Clint's face. If I did a back fist, boom. I, I could have gone further, but, and he was going, whoa, what's, where did that come from? But I was literally just about that close to him. I, and that all I, deals- I, I felt the breeze. Yeah, that all deals with that control, that distance and timing control. And you're gonna have to do that as well. The knife. Can we do something with oh, the yeah, knife real yeah. quick? Yeah, here, I'll grab it for okay. you. Okay, uh, so knife techniques. Thanks, sir. Okay, knife techniques, um, weapon techniques. Let me explain something. What a weapon is, is an extension of the hand. That's all. Okay, now we do knife, we do stick, we do gun tactics. You have to learn everything. Okay, but if you are facing a person with a weapon, okay, per se, you have, to, you have to have that mentality. You have to have that mentality, Clint, uh, that if you're gonna stand there and not run, as you said to me earlier, the best survival for, uh, against a knife, a knife street, yeah, is, is, is a street <laughs> attack with a knife, is to turn around and turn, get out. Turn and run. And hope that you're faster than them. Yeah. Okay? Or maybe throw something heavy at them and run. <laughs> but let's just say that's not an option. Let's just say, I have my buddies and I'm cornered. I don't have a choice. I can't, I, can't, I can't go through this wall. They may be able to go through the wall after I'm done with them, but it's that mentality. Or maybe I'm not, nothing's blocking me. If you are faced with a weapon, especially a knife, you have to have the mentality that staying there, there's a good chance you're gonna get cut, period. I don't care how, what kind of master level you are, there's a good chance that he's gonna cut me. And as long as you have that mentality, yeah. then when you see blood, and you probably will, when you see blood, if he stabs me, oh, or if, I, or, or, or if he slices something, and I see my own blood, I'm not gonna freeze up, shut down, yeah. and now it is over. And if you don't think you won't get cut, take a, take a marker, you and your buddy, take a marker, and just have fun, and see oh, how marked up you get. That is a great, great technique, you know, and you'll be surprised, you'll be, oh my God, I can't believe it. it gets you a white t-shirt you wanna throw away and just go after each other, you know? Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. So <laughs> uh, the, different, the, the difference though is, is he, is he angry? Is he going to like slice and dice? Or is he just staying there with a weapon because that's his security measure? He's threatening me with his weapon. So if he's threatening me with his weapon, Notice I'm not, he's, in, I want to make sure he's in control. He is in control of the fight. My mentality knows that I'm already, I'm already setting my targets up. I still got his groin. I love groin shots. Did I tell you that? So, uh, so groin shots, I've got his face. I've got so many things. As he's, as he's threatening, I want to engage by a conversation because I want to postpone any kind of devastation. Could I still get cut? Could I die? <laughs> Absolutely. But am I gonna take a chance? If I'm here, I'm taking a chance. And here's my, here's my mentality. Don't take this, don't take this to heart. Anybody else that trains you something different. 
My, my mentality is this. If they're bold enough to stick a knife to your throat or a gun to your head, they're bold enough to stab you in the gut, slice your, slice your throat open, or pull that trigger. So you have a choice. Do you stand there or do you do something about it? And in any women's self-defense course, a good instructor, police officer, whoever's holding that women's self-defense course is gonna tell you, if you're fighting out of that situation, more than likely you will survive that fight. Yeah. And the other person will back down. So in this case, I, maybe he's threatening, I wonder, hey, what, what, what do you want? Who are you? What, I, I don't mean no trouble. Get them their attention off of their knife and make them feel that they are in control of whatever weapon. We're just talking a knife right now. Guns, a totally different situation but they're still in control. Because as long as they're in control, they feel like they have the upper hand. And if you practice long enough, you know that you really do. And it's over with. It's, I pick out my targets and I do whatever I want to do with him so he cries home to mama and then I go get my ice cream. And restomp the groin. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, restomp the groin. <laughs> so, but yeah, I want to give everybody some practical application here. Uh, we're going to take a quick little break, enjoy it with our sponsors. We're going to come right back. We're going to do well, some more fun stuff. More fun stuff. More fun stuff. We'll do that. What does it mean to devote your life to the truth? Does it mean investigating communist subversion here in America? Does it mean exposing the deadly fentanyl crisis in the Midwest? or spending late nights and covering deep government corruption? Does it mean persevering over 20 years, even after four masked men set one of our printing presses on fire last year? Because at a time when America's traditional values are under attack, It's the responsibility of righteous journalists to uphold truth and tradition. Introducing IV Hookup. IV treatments have been the standard of care used for years to deliver intravenous hydration treatment to patients. Our medical director has created a safe, industry standard protocol to efficiently support your wellness through IV vitamin hydration including options for athletic performance, mood enhancement, general wellness, and hangover recovery. IV Hookup now offers full spectrum COVID-19 testing at reasonable prices. This means we can get you and your staff tested in a quick time frame. Are you hosting a group event? We can provide a customized package for IV treatment and COVID testing as well. IV Hookup has everything you need to both stay healthy and approve it. Go to ivyhookup.com to order yours, and we'll bring it right to you. That's ivyhookup.com. All right, we're back. A little bonus round. Um, so you got some practical application. Very good stuff. Thank you for the demo. And I know I spoke really fast, but there's so much to cover, and I oh, just yeah, want you yeah. to get as much as possible for yeah. a short time. Yeah. So you've been in the movies. I have You've been since, on TV since '98. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit. Let's let's talk about some movie magic, right? Okay. Uh, just a, a quick little bit on that. Yep. Uh, because people, you've seen movies, right? The the fight scenes are awesome. They're incredible. They take like two to three weeks to film. If you did not know that, oh, yeah. a good fight scene takes easily two to three weeks to film. Yes. Um, instead of like the five second or less here of disarm and, and leave, right? Right. So uh, let's let's talk a little difference between. Because we got more combats out there, you got Cobra Kai. Right. They're, all, they're all fun. They're, they're great to watch. But let's talk about uh, the difference between that and like the real. What's real and what's saw, not, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I also teach uh, stunt work, uh, fight choreography, and yeah. stuff like that. Acting courses. And if you ever want to IMDb me, it's not by Grandmaster William McDonald. It's actually by my stage name, Billy Leo. You can IMDb my name. See what see what I do out there. But to answer your questions, there's two kinds of, of choreography. So there's Hollywood and then there's Hong Kong style. So the Hong Kong style is actually what you what you see a lot of the, the Kung Fu masters, uh, uh, Jackie Chan. Yeah, they're, they're all they, rigged up. They actually flying make all contact. Place. They make contact and sometimes yes, they it's do. harder, hard so that they have that reel and then they go through the walls and stuff like that. It, and some of it's camera angles, but not a lot of it, because that, that's the actual, we're making contact yeah. situation. And you really want to be a good martial artist that understands control. 
to the best of your ability. Then you have the stage. Are we on this camera right here? Right here. Okay, yeah. good. So I, I, if I was to set this up, and I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you uh, uh, do both a receiving and uh, and also a uh, uh, a a commitment yeah. to a fight. Let's just say we're going to do uh, a, a stage where I'm going to. It's all about camera angles. We're going to do Hollywood style. So Hollywood style, we're we're actually this far away. I'm never going to make contact with Clint. Never ever. Uh, but I'm right here. It's all about camera angles. Yeah. So what we're going to so do, I'm like. if if uh, if uh, we're going to do an old uh, old, um, uh, old West haymaker. Okay, yeah. Okay, so show me your haymaker. Yeah. So, oh yeah, the old West cowboy haymaker barroom fight, right? Yeah. So the camera would be angled to where uh, he would be seen, his beautiful face, yeah. and then my my action would be uh, would be. Uh, how I'm going to receive it and which way I'm going to roll. So if he's taking it with his right hand, and look how far he is. He's this far away from me. But it's the car camera angle. Pow! So he's going to, and he's going to over-exaggerate yep. the movement. The over-exaggeration is what makes the oohs and ahs for the audience. That's why you keep coming back to see more action films. So when you do this, boom, and we're going to do this a couple of times. Boom, right there. Boom. Okay. So when you you're going to be the, you're going to be the director right here. I'm going to say you're going to say action when you're ready, and boom, and you start to roll with it. So <laughs> at the same time, if he, if I'm if I'm throwing the punch and he's receiving, he has to exaggerate the the receiving part. So imagine that he's being hit. He's going to exa over exaggerate that motion. So you're seeing from this angle the person throwing the shot. Actually, since you did the haymaker, I'll let you do it from right. this angle. So you, you're still a master skillsman on this. <laughs> so I'll, he would set this up. You would see maybe part of his backside. He's going to exaggerate the movement. Go ahead. Okay. And he's going to go straight through. He wants that, that arm to go straight through into it versus a real fight. Punch it. Yeah. It is over with. And I'm going to receive it from a distance, and I'm going to time it. I'm going to time it. He's going to go straight here. Go do it again. Set up. Boom, that's where you want to go. Do it again. Boom. When you're ready, sir, call action. Action. Boom. And I exaggerate the movement. And it's pretty much yeah. it's, giving the it's, real it's, attitude. It's kind of like wrestling. After the edit, kind of. After the editing's done, and the person in the back says, yeah, we'll do that. And the DP says, oh, that looks good. So uh, I don't know if that, you know, the, versus street contact. Street, it's all real. Right. You're not going to exaggerate yeah. nothing. Yeah. You're going into them. Okay? So, eh, kind of an idea. Stunt, Hollywood style, Hong Kong style uh, versus real. Yep. Yeah. And for everybody that wants the real, uh, how do they get a hold of you? Oh, hey, uh, if you want to see some really cool action, you can go to our YouTube channel. Okay? You know, we have our website, tongyolo.com. Uh, and uh, it's T uh, T O N G I L. LO.com. You can go to youtube.com slash tongyolo. We have videos all over the place. You'll be able to learn some stuff. You want to train with us, whether it be in class, one on one private, or distant learning. We can do that. Yep. And very soon, you'll probably get to see him with me over at Olympic Fit doing some special classes. So, love to do that. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on and, and, and take, take, taking some hits and abuse from this guy. <laughs> and for everybody else out there, take care of yourself, okay? Thank you for joining us for the show. Uh, please come back for more shows right here on OBBM Network. Thank you for, for uh, watching. Sounds good. The Health Engineer is produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM Network and made possible through the generous support of sponsors and viewers like you. For program information, call 214-714-0495. The Health Engineer, Offbeat Business Media LLC, OBBM, Network Trademarks, and all portions of this broadcast are produced for the exclusive use of the OBBM Network and affiliates, and may not be reproduced without written permission by Offbeat Business Media LLC. All inquiries are directed to call 214-714-0495.